All right, boys. It took me a while to write things in. Today, we had an emergency Mr. Gold River stream to cover up a lot of uh, problems that we have in the game. The community was really mad. The Korean community was really mad about certain things. And what the global people wanted to kind of hear about is the topics that we always talk about, right? You know, the fatigue and all this stuff together. So all that stuff, I thought he wasn't going to talk about it at the back. But he, he actually appeared and talked about stuff afterwards. So this is pretty cool. So this video is going to be a super short. I'm upside down because you guys uh, kept typing the upside down people uh, emote. So let's get to it right away. The beginning portion of the video is about the China release and the censorship and stuff. Long story short, I do not want to talk about this in detail because the Korean community and like they were so angry that they used all the resources to release a Lost Ark in China and like all the developing resources went to chi like the, 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 the Chinese release and all this stuff and people were super angry about it. So Gold River came out and explained everything case by case. Some of the stuffs are actually pretty ridiculous. For example, this was one thing that it, people were angry about, how the Soul Eater release was like a full bodysuit, and then the Soul Eater was, wasn't have a full bodysuit, so like people are trying to smog it, trying to censor everything to fix it up to China, and they're gonna make the game like uh, more appealing to the Chinese audience. So people like us is going to be getting the bad version for it. But little did I know that the release avatar, the two versions of the release avatar, this one was just shown for the coverage, but this was the original one that we saw before. So technically, a lot of the stuff that the Korean community was angry about was, was a lot bloated and was a lot pushed off like no reasons. So... I don't want to talk too much about this in detail because I think this is just stupid stuff. Uh, that has nothing to do with the future of the game. Uh, people are just angry. That's it. Let's go over the important stuff. So, first topic. Talking about Lost Ark not having a main director. So, the reason of Gold River leaving and changed three directors, for some of, you got, some of you guys not know, is when he had a lot of health issues, right? He had a lot of health issues and then he was uh, in a different case. He had to leave to get his health back, right? To, to get it, to get that check in line. And then this happened a long time ago. And the three directors that came out are taking care of it. And then these three directors, they're focused on each section. Like one of them was uh, t taking care of combat. One of them was fo uh, focused, always focused on story, the QOL stuff and all these things together. And we had two low ons. And then uh, as you guys know, just because you're a really good developer, that doesn't mean you can present your stuff really well. That's how I always think. Presenting is a different form of skill. One of the main reasons most people hated uh, the three director was because they can't really portray uh, their cool stuff to the audience and share their thoughts properly. They're so scared of making a mistake about a certain statement. They're afraid that the, the users can get mad and all that stuff. Talking less causes bigger problems. So they've been doing that for over and over. It was snowballing out of control and Gold River came out for the third time to fix this issue. And when he was talking about this, he changed it. So that's why he talked about it as well. People thought, you know, uh, people thought Gold River left to come back eventually for the main director role, but that's false. Uh, he's not probably gonna come back ever. The reason why he didn't appear on the second one, the uh, apologizing stream before the second one, it was their responsibility. It was the three directors' responsibility. The reason why he came out the third time is because the problem came out of control and some of the problems were aligned with during when Gold River was existing, which is the, the censorship stuff. And while he came out, uh, he talked about this main point as well, about trouble getting a main director. Getting a main director is extremely difficult. And as most of you guys know, you just can't get a main director out of the blue. They need a lot of knowledge in the game and they need to have like a very wide vision of the future of the game. Uh, Gold River said that he will find a main director for the game. Uh, and the preferred promise time is around November to introduce a new director, which is our fifth anniversary, which is cool. And another important part that he also mentioned afterwards is, in the meantime, Gold River will come down from the CCO position of Smilegate to, director, uh, to direct Lost Ark uh, to take care of the... Uh, communication issues that most people have and general pathing of the game's future so so basically in my understanding uh from this and the in the in the general chat that he does is uh he came down to maybe teach the three directors while trying to 
put the game in the right direction and keep communicating with the users so that we can uh, have a better understanding of how the how the game change is going to be because most of the people had a problem of it's like hey they're not communicating enough they're not communicating enough or, or it's like there's so many problems but they're not addressing it etc so those stuff is what makes uh, everyone angry and then he came out to fix some of the stuff now the fun part is i thought the video was going to end from here but there's more uh he decided to share some of his personal opinions that have been addressed during loa on right none of them none of the stuff that he says is confirmed but he shared his opinion about the game and the stuff that he wants to change. So, uh, and the very first thing that he talked about was content fatigue. I thought this was really cool from this point on in the broadcast because this content fatigue was mentioned at the end end, right? It really felt like they didn't really care about it. The thing that I really like how Gold River expressed his feelings on the game was he said he played the game and when I played the game, uh, he said that he got some outside uh, appearances, as in like outside opinions, so he can actually feel what could the problem be. Therefore, as he said, he wanted to address that doing the well, doing the exact same thing twice is annoying. That's what he said, and that's because like I hate chaos dungeons. I don't know. I don't understand why you have to do ex the exact same thing twice every day. Okay, chaos dungeons should give cool rewards to the content to be more rewarding. The honest thing about chaos dungeon right now. Is long time ago when we used to do Chaos Dungeon for the first time, it was actually fun. And do you know why it was actually fun? Is because we were able to get accessories, we were able to get the tripod gears that are actually upgradable, that kind of stuff. It was something random to get something rare. Nowadays, when I play Chaos Dungeon, I'm like Pepe Wing, like I have my half my eyes closed and then try to just spam all the skills and uh, get something, get nothing out of it. Just get silver and shards and then materials that you need to hone your character. If you do that every day, twice, you just get pissed off. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm so pissed off because I'm doing it every day. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of the chat that I see all the time, they do like 12 characters a day. I mean, that's insane. You can do use like rest gauge and stuff. When I used rest gauge, it got a little bit better, but it's a matter of time. I'm gonna get annoyed using rest gauge too because the content itself is boring. The design itself is so bad that it's like, it's just tedious stuff. Therefore, since it's tedious stuff, as Gold River says, since there's nothing else of value to make it fun, people are trying to clear it as fast as possible. Right. That's why I made the Chaos Dungeon Guide. As in, this is this is how you clear a Chaos Dungeon faster. But clearing faster and faster and faster, that is actually not that positive change. It's, it's more of a negative thing because the content is so bad, like we just try to clear it faster. Additional stress happens. When this is the case, stupid mobs like from far away and the and the large maps and slow regions pisses you off. The first band-aid change will be done very soon, he says. So I don't know, it might be tomorrow, because tomorrow's the reset, or maybe it's the week after, but he did say soon. And that word soon, which is quote, is uh it's usually like very, very soon. Now the second topic is guardian raids. He talked about guardian raids as well, which is interesting. So without rest meter, you will need to kill guardians twice every day. This is actually a lot. He didn't mention that. And this is a dilemma because if guardians are too annoying, the stress increases. So if you're doing every, imagine you have to kill Valganus on item level every day, twice, because Valganus has different different mechanics and stuff, right? So you can't make a guardian raid strong. Therefore, when they were talking about making a guardian raid, when they're developing a guardian raid. Gold River mentioned power down. So what they mean by power down is they make guardians weaker to make sure that it's not too much of a heavy lifting for a daily content. That's why the stuff that I was really interested to hearing was Gold River's example was what if you do guardian raid three times a week instead, increase the reward, but also make it a little bit more difficult. And this would make the content a middle content, which is a little heavier. So essentially what the, his idea was technically was you, you make it less, but you make it a little longer and more difficult to add. When I say difficult, not stressful difficult. You make it a little bit more difficult in a different way to make it into more of a, a grandeur uh, content instead of like a daily content. Because a daily content, when someone says daily content to me, I played a bunch of mobile games, I played a bunch of MMO games, etc. When it's daily, I should be done in like two minutes. Sorry for bringing a different game, but the Star Rail daily takes me like 10 seconds. That's what a daily should be. Like you just log in, you're stamping in your thing, and then you and then you play your game. Oh, 
you play, you're playing our game. Here's your daily rewards. You want, you want a little bit of daily rewards? Sure. It should be that way. Therefore, the summary of uh, Gold River afterwards is Chaos Dungeon needs a lot of work to make it lighter and make Guardians into middle content, which is making it heavier, but you do it less in a week. So it's not like a raid where you do it once a, uh, once a week, but maybe he was saying things like three times a week, right? So if that is the case, it's technically the same as like Rest of Gage. But if that is like the uh, particular goal and then you're getting a bunch of rewards for that, like the same amount of rewards as if you're doing it every day, it's, a gen it's generally a win. So uh, I think it's pretty interesting how he's going to change it. Nothing is like confirmed, but if this is what he's thinking about it, and if he's going to push it this way, uh, it, might, it might be pretty good. The vertical content stuff, so the vertical content stuff was the next topic. I, I'm not going to talk too much in detail about it because vertical, it does not really... You guys are still in a con. So in terms of vertical content, a global version is, at, is at, at, a, at a good spot because you don't have to wait like a year for a con. Like you don't have to wait like a year for like Voldyke or something like that. Pacing of the vertical content for global is good. So it's not as too much of a worry. But for Korea, we have people that are just waiting there. And then we have people that are just chasing, etc. All that stuff. That's like the bad thing. I want uh, to share what Gold River is thinking about here. Like, you know, users were angry and not making decisions when raids come out. It's not confirmed every time. For example, before Hello Raids are coming out quickly, now we're waiting about six to seven months. The concept of vertical progression, the directors are trying to achieve a completely different approach. When you do like a vertical progression, what do you think about it for this game? Is when you get the when you get when a con comes out and you get a con gear, you transfer the gear, you have to hone your gear again. So when Voldak came out, Elixir came out, so that's like a different side, a different type of vertical content. And when other things come out, he said the vertical progression will be a little bit different instead of just a flat eye, eye level increase with just honing. They're planning to do something uh, different to make a progression feel. Not crazy enough to make the middle player have a problem chasing it. So in between vertical progression, the big raids like Legion raids, he was also thinking it would be really nice to put something in between. The idea that Go River mentioned was like the content to maybe challenge how powerful their characters are, like how powerful, how how well all, uh, the, how well the characters are, something like that. I don't know, but like I said, the test of strength for like like a like like a ranking system or something like that to to clear it fast. I don't know, a speed run, but anything could be. But he's thinking like different ideas that you can put in between. And also, again, uh, he has mentioned that you know there will be more vertical content for sure. But it's not going to be just a simple eye level increase, etc. And there's going to be however much down in in one ear. You're just gonna add as much as you can. Because if you add too much vertical progression, the middle users are going to be FOMOing and they're going to get uh, stressed out and then they uh, eventually quit the game. So basically from this uh, topic, he said something like examples like Inferno Guardians and Inferno Raids could be non-equalized to add them to the vertical progression if needed. And he also mentioned that, hey, what do you think about like Valton uh, being remastered to a higher level and then you add additional mechanics on top of it just to be like a, a seasonal thing like to add it into a vertical progression and so since that's are much faster to make he was just asking those kind of ideas it's good that even though let's say let's say hypothetically people say that the idea is stupid like they don't want like Valton remaster version like it's like a repetitive stuff but the important thing is he talks about it freely and then he talks about opinions freely and then he hears opinions as well i think that's the most important thing so Third Awakening, so this was a large project, adding Third Awakening for all the classes. So the Gold River, Mr. Gold River was like kind of hesitant of bringing current classes that are done. It really feels like some of the classes are already done for the Third Awakening. But the reason why they don't bring it is I actually kind of understand this. Imagine Third Awakening was brought on uh, four classes. Like let's say four classes only. Let's say a Blade has it, like a Berserker has it, and an Artillerist has it, and then let's say like a Gunslinger has it, right? What do you think is going to happen to the economy, man? Let's say this class has Third Awakening, and then you don't. That's that's probably the thing that most people are going to be worried about. Therefore, uh, he was like super hesitant, like which classes are coming out. Even if someone says that this Third Awakening is this and this and this, that class is that definitely going to get more popular a little bit. Maybe maybe he's like super hesitant about it to uh, prevent that to happen. Third Awakening is like a Third Awakening skill. Uh, we don't have too much information about it. They didn't even talk about it in Loa, so I'm gonna leave it uh, super quick here. So Mail Scrapper, so Mail Scrapper is confirmed, Chad. Mail Scrapper is confirmed and people were super mad about it because 
initially they said male scrapper on the winner lawn and then all of a sudden a different stream they said they got they might change male scrapper to something else and now when low on came out again they mentioned uh male scrapper in the q q and a they said they're going to make male scrapper and uh developer said that male scrapper is going to be good it's okay etc right but he literally said don't worry it's going to be good they didn't really explain anything else so gold river when he explained it in in, in, in this particular stream he said it's not going to be like scrapper image you guys have that's what he said. And then it really feels like they're super confident to make this class like really fun. So no, don't be too uh, stressed out about it, right? Generally, he expresses that the team is versatile and willing to change subjects to make the games better, right? So like they're trying to make things, they're trying to make things better and make things per, uh, versatile and then they're willing to change stuff. Now, since Gold River is going to work on the game now until probably November, the two things that he's going to focus on is first, the phase of works is throwing away or deleting content that are obsolete and that are like repetitive. So some of the stuff that you have in mind, let's say you have mind in, uh, you're playing Lost Ark right now. Sometimes you think, why is this, why is this even in the game kind of stuff, right? He's going to work on optimizing the game to be more enjoyable, to be lighter and to be less stress inducing in terms of, uh, content fatigue, etc., and adding things that are like fun and stuff and changing repetitive content more rewarding and fun. Obviously, he's definitely gonna work on Chaos Dungeon and Guardians. Like he, if he's thinking about it, that means it's, it, it has a high, pass, a high, high possibility that those will change. Uh, and I'm very confident about it because he has never failed to do so. And the second portion was he'll be working on vertical and the future possible content and lying it down properly so that the game has a, pro a proper roadmap to be excited about. This will be the vertical content stuff that he's going to talk about. And this is uh, the best part about this particular thing is let, let's do the negative take real quick. The negative take here is there's nothing that's coming out. So he Gold River just came out and just talked about a bunch of stuff. So who knows what's going to happen, right? Who knows like he just talked about it. He just bought some time. You could say that, but the problems are still there, etc. But the thing is, you can't just change shit out of the blue, like in like a finger snap, right? To look at it in a realistic approach, the fact that Gold River is going to talk to us more, and then he's going to do more radio shows or like to explain like the progress of the game, etc. Like let's, let's say there's a, a big update, he comes out to explain maybe more posts that like what's gonna come out. That fact alone is actually pretty good to fix most of the problems that most uh, that all the players had problems with. Like, it's not the best right now, but I don't think it can get any better than this because something that could get any better than this would be literally saying all the problems, we gotta do it next patch or something like that. Like, I mean, so, some things just gotta wait. Some things just gotta wait. But the fact that he's going to try, fix stuff, and then th the fact that he's going to talk about it more, like, how can it be better than that? That's that's my opinion. So a long story short, like game save, their games burn, games dead, etc. All that fact aside, we have someone that cares about the game came back. He's going to help. He addressed the problems that we wanted to hear about, and then he's going to work on it. So we'll see how that is. You, maybe people who have quit, they can come back after the change that's happened. Uh, people who are stressed out, maybe getting some a little bit of hopium because if you like the game, right, you're kind of stressed out. You like the game, uh, but you don't want to leave, right? But like, that's how things work. But, uh, you know, you don't need to take it too, too serious, you know, too dramatic. But the news is here and hopefully we get a good change soon. Now, with that being said, I will conclude this quick review video. And I will see you guys again later. Bye-bye, boys. It flipped again.